The fall hadn't done the statuette much good. It had lost its arms and gotten pretty chipped. Hi, Nijo. Hello again, sir. And how may I help you this time? What happened to your ball, Nijo? I regret to say that it has been confiscated by my father. Oh, Nijo, I'm sorry. Not to worry, sir. Soon he will forget why he has the ball and put it on the stand. At which point, I shall recover it. I'm sorry about the statuette being broken as well. Again, do not fret, sir. It has been on the shelf for a long time. As merchandise, it did not have legs. Now it hasn't got any arms either. Very droll, sir. May I have this statuette? It is broken after all. Certainly. And when my father deals with that feline for breaking it, you can have a Davy Crockett hat as well. Do you recognize these keys? No. They're to a toilet. Thank you for sharing that with me. What does this toilet chain mean to you? Are you building a bathroom in easy installments? I borrowed this from the club Alamut. How nice for you. See you around, Nijo. Ta-ta for now, sir. Hello again, Pearl. Why, hello, George. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you ever heard of a hill called the Bull's Head? No. No, I haven't. Is it nearby? I'm not sure. Sounds awful romantic. The Bull's Head Hill. Do you know what Il Akal Kalb means? My, sounds romantic. Yeah, I don't think it is, though. Have you met the taxi man, Ultar? Heavens, yes. What a big man. Very muscular. But you didn't go for a ride. Why, George, you're absolutely the most... Oh, you mean a taxi ride? No, Dwayne wasn't interested, so it didn't happen. Have you had anything from the kebab stand? No, with my digestion. You said that your company is based in Akron. And Dwayne said it's in Cleveland, no doubt. Well, yes, he did. Dwayne was in the Marines in Vietnam, you know. Anyway, he got a medical discharge. Thing is, he gets confused. We moved away from Cleveland five years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... He also gets a little paranoid. I think he's a spy or something. I'm so sorry, Pearl. Don't worry yourself, George. We live with it. Look, a washroom towel. Oh, George, you poor, poor thing. You've had a touch of the sun. No, I'm fine, really. What do you think of this toilet chain? My, but you're a strange one, George. I've got the keys to a toilet here. With my digestion, you better keep them handy. <laughs> but I'm terrible. I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. The plaster seemed to soak up the grease paint until it began to look like stone.
Hello again, Pearl. Why, hello, George. It's such a pleasure to see you again. What do you think of this fine piece of ancient statuary? Oh, my, that's just what I've been looking for. Would you like it? Would I ever. I'm not carrying the money, though. If you go and find Dwayne, he'll pay you for it. If he gives you any trouble, just tell him that I want it. Hi there, Dwayne. Hi there, George. How can I help you, young fella? Have you ever heard of a hill called the Bull's Head? Can't say as I have. Where's that? I don't know. I'm trying to find out. Bull's Head, huh? I must remember that. Sounds scenic. Have you met Ultar? Almost luxurious air-conditioned taxi ride, mister. Yeah, the cabbie. Tried to pull a bunco on us. Take us on a wild goose chase off into nowhere. Have you had any dealings with the kebab seller? Absolutely not. Pearl's already had one attack of Montezuma's revenge. Do you know what il akol called means? That's what you said to the kebab seller? <laughs> Uh, no. I don't speak Arabic. Not a word. Here, I have a washroom towel. Yeah? No, that's it. Here, I have a washroom towel. Oh, I was expecting a magic trick or something. What does this toilet chain mean to you? It means that somewhere, somebody can't flush the toilet. I've got the keys to a toilet here. Executive washroom? Not exactly. What do you think of this? Good gravy. Looks old. Yeah, I had to turn this town upside down. Boy, your luck's better than ours. Looks Roman. I wouldn't know. What'll they say back home? How much do you want, George? Oh, I couldn't. It's the find of a lifetime. I mean... Fifty bucks. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. Here you go. And here you go. Okay, well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. Count on it, George. Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah. I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. What does il akal kalb mean? Who teach you that? Najo told me to say it to Arto. And Arto come after you with big knife, yes? Yeah, how did you know? I know Arto. You tell him in bad Arabic that his kebab's made from dog meat. I said he was using dog food? No wonder he went crazy. No. Ultar not mean meat for dog. Ultar mean meat of dog. Oh. Ugh. About Bull's Head Hill. Are you desirous of seeing this most splendid place? Well, maybe. A terrific bargain. Only 50 of your Yankee bucks. 50, huh? Okay, it's a deal. Here's the cash. Ah, most splendid. As you say, 
The cash price moolah is correct. Mister, we make with haste. Where exactly is your taxi? Because the only vehicle I can see around here is an aging army surplus truck. Yes? Ah. Okay, I'll be along in a minute. It didn't seem right to take off with the toilet keys, so I left them on the bar. Hello again, Ultar. His most splendid and adventurous client. That's your taxi? Oh, yes, most assuredly. Most entirely splendid taxi in all Marib. It looks like an old army truck to me. Bah! You Americans with your checkerboard caps and your jet horses. You have lost sight of what a taxi should truly be. About four tons by the look of it. There, you have hit the nail in the nutshell. Okay already, let's go. Regrettably not, most esteemed pair. There is a minor problem of a tiny nature. The fan belt has taken it upon itself to break. So, what are you gonna do? What can I do? I must wait for a ride to the garage for a replacement. How long is that gonna take? One day, maybe six. I can't wait that long, we gotta get moving. But how, my friend? I'll think of something. Is this any use to you? My friend, the very thing, yes! Ultar took the towel from me, cut it in two lengthways, and gave me half back. With his half, he did the kind of fan belt replacement that's normally done with stockings. Now, if I knot the ends together, so... Serviceable, yes? Very serviceable indeed! Stockings might work on a Bentley, but on a truck, the coarse toweling did the job nicely. Come along, my friend! You want to see the bull's head? Yes! A young tree grew at the edge of the drop. Centuries of hot days and cold nights had opened a crack in the cliff edge, deep into the living rock. With a flourish, I tied the end of the towel to the stick with a textbook reef knot.
I could see that crack would make a good anchor point. Well, that looked really safe, but I had no choice. I hadn't anticipated going mountaineering when I'd come to Syria. This country sure was beautiful. I'd have to visit again sometime when I wasn't in such a hurry. Down below, I could see the top of Ultar's soft top truck. It seemed a hell of a long way down. I got that, go on, jump, it'll be fun, feeling you sometimes get at the cliff edge. If I managed to land on the truck without hitting a support, I might even survive it. If I'd been a little bit younger and a whole bunch more stupid, I might have gone for it. Close up, the niche looked somehow artificial. I didn't like the idea of putting my hand in there. But there was something in there. A metal ring as wide as my hand. I took a firm hold of the ring and pulled. Whoa there! 